what's going on everybody the hair right here d prime time from fucking go ahead and say your podcast bro gram ties gram ties watch that shit L- listen to that shit uh well yeah w- for now listen right listen yeah, yeah spotify yeah. that shit mm-hmm. is hilarious mm-hmm. it's hilarious i love thank it. you i appreciate it's a, it it's a rams podcast um uh, we had to do this conjo- we've, we've done this before but now you know we're link we're linking up again uh so gram ties watch that shit listen to that shit i mean uh, but we're right now the Hair and the Beard podcast. Hair and the Beard. Very, very happy to have you on, bro. Nice fucking seeing you again. Brother, always a pleasure. Brother, dude, yeah. Um, but we're here. We're here to talk sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, the shit we love, we're indulged in. Um, so let's start off the NFL Week 13. Actually, the first, it's the last game of Week 12 that's been just up and down this past few weeks. Just or pushed push back pushing every it, day. It. Yep. And I, I thought, oh, they're, they're definitely doing it for Lamar Jackson, right? Yeah. He's still not eligible. He's, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's still out. Um, so I, on that note, you have RG3, who's, um, he was okay. You know what I mean? He's been okay-ish. Mm. This was like eight years ago. Yeah. Five, seven years ago. He came out hot, but he just kind of, yeah, yeah. He kind of just, I think, getting beat up running style. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of warm down. Definitely. So. Um, but so he's starting though for he's the for the for the Ravens. Um, you know, I, I I see some fans saying, "Oh, he, you know, you can he can do the Lamar Jackson playbook." Sure, but he's not Lamar Jackson. He's not Lamar Jackson. Yeah, he yeah. definitely doesn't got the explosiveness that Lamar Jackson has. No. Um, um it, I think it might be Steelers on a route, bro. I I hate to say it. A lot of Steelers fans of that. I'm just saying, um, you got a backup quarterback against that Steelers defense. Their front seven is amazing. I they they get to the quarterback so well, and then on the back end, Minka, he's just he's dynamite. He's he's always due for a pick, and they yeah. just I think their defense is going to be too much. I think so too. Um, I I'm going to say that game, uh, Steelers twenty eight, Ravens ten. I think it's going to be they're gonna beat him pretty good i i, I think so too i i think even i 30 i would say 35 oh, 35 13 dang 35, 13. bro that you have you heard it first uh <laughs> that's tomorrow watch that shit 12 40 uh, 12, 12 40 <sighs> midday saw you working not even during my lunch bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at work, try to sneak it in on your phone. Yeah. Or where, if you can, if you have kids in front of you, like us teachers. <laughs> Sorry. Dang, that's unfortunate. Like, yes. But if Lamar's not playing, I guess it's all right. Yeah, if Lamar's playing, I probably would have threw a bigger Yeah, play, yeah, maybe. yeah. But, yeah, it should be a route. Who's going to watch that shit, then? I, it's, it's tough, but I, I feel like, I mean... I mean, I'm I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt that Steelers and Baltimore hate each other. Yeah. It, it, so it might it might tighten up, but I like you said, it's this doesn't look too good for me. But with that, them pushing it back, I think they get back Dobbins. They I get think, Dobbins. They get one more. Other, yeah, one they get more another back. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So we'll see. But even with Lamar, it's tough. That Steelers. <laughs> that Steelers matchup yeah, is just tough. tough. It is. Um. So that's our take on that first game of Week 13, though, is Saints Saints Falcons. Falcons just beat the shit so, out of my Raiders, bro. I didn't want to beat the they, living shit out of us. Bro. What? Okay, so I just. I didn't want to start off like this. I don't want to I start off. I, I know, I know you I were, in, and I did not want to bring up the Raiders <laughs> yeah. because you know I'm not in a great mood myself. I'm not gonna rave myself, <laughs> yeah. but the way the Falcons, it's like as if the st- the Raiders just everything that they have done this season. We were actually getting praise from ESPN. Exactly, like yeah. they're con- they're contender. Yeah, like, like yeah, Stephen A. Smith is like the Raiders are back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, even Stephen A. Who I like, yeah, he the, the, as much of a troll as he is and Skip, they were actually giving us praise. I was like, oh god, dude. And then to lay this humongous egg against the Falcons team with no Julio Jones, with just no Todd, Gurley, no Todd, Todd Gurley. Gurley. Oh my, they just god, oh my, bro. it was it was crazy. Destroyed and us. and I. I'm I'm actually a fan of Derek Carr. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of him. I I feel like he Fresno does. State. He, yeah, State. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he. I feel like he doesn't get the due that he he is he deserves. But it was like as if he wasn't even taking care of the ball, and that's what he does best. I I, I feel. I know he's super conservative. Yeah. And and he was just I was just like man, it's one of those weeks, and I think that's them. They had to go to the East Coast, um. Yeah, but I mean, if if you're if you're gonna be a good team, you should be able to handle you that. You should, you know what I mean. And um, especially a team like that, dude. And the, the thing is, is we just beat the shit out of the Broncos not too long ago. Who's in the same position? Yes. They didn't have their guys, and we traveled, and we you know handled business. Yeah. This Falcons team, like, oh my god, bro. Matt their, Ryan. Their, their main their main guy was Ridley. Yeah. Like, just guard Ridley. It, and that's it. Uh, oh my god, bro. I but, think it just made Matt Ryan's reads easier. It, yeah. <laughs> I, that, I mean, that's that's got to be the 
I don't know. Yeah. They'd have to share, give the ball to Gurley as much and Julio, and they spread the ball, and I don't it know. It was horrific. And, I, you know, I, maybe we'll get into it later, but I, I'm, I'm sick of talking about that <laughs> shit. I think the Saints are going to beat the shit out of them, though. I think the Saints are going to fuck them up. I, I, I feel like it'll be, it'll be like 2017. Okay, so you think it'll be close, 20, but still 2017, you got I got the Saints. Okay. I, I think Taysom Hill pulls something out of his ass like he usually does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I... I he he's good when he comes in and does his little thing, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. I think, I mean, you need Drew Brees back. You, I need, you need Drew Brees back, but they do have a good system though. Yeah, the Saints have a great system, true, um, true. and uh, I I just think they're a lot better in both sides of the ball than than the Falcons. Yeah. Are. Um, but you know we'll see. Maybe the Falcons have this big, you know, I, I big just, dick energy confidence. True, they right might now. carry it in, but yeah. I I I feel like it's twenty twenty seven. Let me cover seconds. your eyes on this. Let me cover your eyes on this. No, we won't talk about that yet. We'll get that later. <laughs> Next one is uh, Browns-Titans. The Browns have been the Jekyll Hyde team this year. To me, the Browns, they have all the talent in the world on that, on that team, mm -hmm. right? Yes. To me, they, on paper, could be a top-five team. Yes. On paper. And they get Miles Garrett back. Yes. So, they're doing pretty good. They have three, yes. three losses, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. They don't, that, that, that surprised me. I always think, like, man, they, they pull one out every week. And we actually beat that team, bro. You believe that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm going to stop about the Raiders. Bro. Yeah, so the Browns-Titans, uh, to me, oh God, I'm trying to stop, and there they go, saying that shit. Um, fucking uh, um, the, the running back, Titans running back. Derrick Henry, Derek bro. Derrick Henry's a, a man, bro. And especially yeah. late in the year, he just starts like going to these modes where he's getting oh 100 every God, week. Oh, my God, bro. They, every week. I'm telling you, he he's a guy, and I've said this before, if an alien race came, if an alien race came, they they were here. They wanted to discover the, the land and just see what we got going on. My prototype, prototype, give him Derek Henry. Give him Derek Henry. Let, let, let him look at him. Let him like <laughs> look him up and down. <laughs> like we're using microscope. And like oh shit, like, what is, what is that? Yeah. He's a freak, bro. He's a freak in nature. Him and LeBron. Him and LeBron. Him and, look they, yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty yeah. freakish, bro. Yeah, but um. I think Derrick Henry is going to do work. Um, Browns have a good team, good solid squad. Yeah. Tannehill's, I think Tannehill's been a little bit up and down compared he, to last he's, year. He's kind of up and down. Um, but I think since the running game's starting to get going again, it opens up everything for him. Yeah, it yeah. does. It um, does. Yeah, the Henry just makes me feel like a boy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Whenever we start feeling a little confident, you look at Derrick Henry like, oh no, <laughs> yeah. I'm nothing. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm nothing in this world. But uh, how do you think that game goes? I feel like the Browns will lose, but it will be. 21 I'll say 21 10 I just I don't have a lot of confidence in Baker Mayfield but he has been throwing it he started throwing it to Jarvis Landry last week so that's a good sign for them Jarvis hadn't been getting involved and I feel like he's probably one of their best playmakers easily yeah Landry's a Landry's a motherfucker for mm -hmm. sure um yeah I have I have Titans winning that shit um next one we have uh Lions Bears I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not too pumped about, about no, that game. Uh, but I, two shit teams going yeah. out. <laughs> Let's uh, be real. <laughs> I still think I still think about fucking Khalil Mack just because our 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 damn we have no rush on our on our defense. We well, have Max one of the Crosby. fewest. Max Crosby's all right, but we have one of the fewest sacks of of, every, oh, of all okay. teams. On the I think we're thirtieth or thirty first uh, of all the, of the thirty two fucking teams. Yeah, damn, sacks. damn, and. Khalil Mack. Oh, my God, dude. Khalil, <laughs> Khalil Mack will at least get you. Son. He get will. Pressure. He pressure. will. I'm looking for pressure. Exactly. Bro. At least pressure. Take some heat off we that secondary of yours. We don't have fucking Aaron Donald, bro. First off, before you start. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, shit, dude. Yeah. But, like, man, look at that shit, bro. Just... <laughs> yeah. But uh, on that note, I think, I think, I just guess I say the Bears. I'm going to go Lions. Okay. I'm okay. going to go Lions. I feel like I don't think it's gonna be good, Trubisky though. and Foles are <laughs> horrible <laughs> they are horrible and i i feel like stafford will pull something out of his ass yeah yeah stafford stafford is actually pretty great he, he's actually pretty good i yeah. just the lions find a he's way to blow it yes he has um, he has i think it's going to be something like 13 10 one of those type of games it might yeah the way the bears defense yeah. plays and the how shitty their offense is yeah something <laughs> like that 13 10 13, sounds 10, good yeah. I, but i got the lions yeah okay and i have i have bears yeah bears okay. um next one we have Bengals dolphins um, dolphins have been killing it. As dolphins, of, as of late. dolphins are looking good, Here's man. The They're thing, looking bro, good. You had Fitzpatrick, who was fucking playing good, really good, really good. good. Fitz, oh my god, dude, Fitzpatrick, bro, he's gonna go down as one of the most like underappreciated players of all time. Yes, I think, he is because he's so gritty. He's gritty as fuck. He dude. is. He just he's not buff. He's not fast, but he's just 
He plays with balls. He makes he makes you like feel like man. I do not have to be six six five and freaking Rock, rocked and athletic okay, and I can line. run and I can throw. He just he's the regular guy out there just <laughs> slanging it around. But just with big ass balls. Balls, yes. Yeah, yeah. And gets juiced out of his mind. That's there, what I love about there, him right there. There was that one play, I think it was last year when he took over some team or something like that. I mean, maybe it was two years ago. It was on Monday night and he was making a comeback. For was like it the Bucks? Probably the Bucks. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did this yell. He looked like Conor McGregor. Yeah, <laughs> he, he gets you damn yeah, though. I he makes like, you want to believe in him. Like, <laughs> I was like okay, yeah, go get him. Fitz Magic. The yeah, Fitz Magic. Magic yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking go um, get him, Magic. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. As And I appreciate you liking, you know, giving Carr his due diligence because I'm very hard on that guy. Yeah. And you yeah. know that. We've yeah, I know you are. We've this. talked I'm about very, that. I'm very hard on that guy. He's a great human being, great person, and I want to believe in him, but a lot of times I don't think he's the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just, I still think that I think. Yeah. I think. But to me, bro, if you Fitzpatrick, you can throw him on any team and he'll he'll throw up numbers, dude. Yes. I think no matter what I think if he had what we have right now, you just rugs and those, those type of dudes. I, I think, think if you he, put him on the Rams, he'd fucking have success. I, you see? The fucking way Jared Goff yeah. is fucking throwing the ball around, dude. And, and we'll, and get I, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> but uh, on, that, on that note, I have Dolphins winning that game. Because two has been, as much praise as we gave uh, uh, Fitzpatrick, two has been balling too. Yeah, and, and I just, the Bengals don't have Burrow. They're not good. No, nah, that's a wrap. Yeah, bro. and he was doing he was doing good. He was, I, I liked he that was Burrow. Doing good. I mean, for the lack of, you know, um, you know, the line, they weren't protecting him as the lack of protection he had. He was doing really good. He was. He, he was. was. It just sucks that, you know, he had to go out like that. But, I mean, it's just something for the future. Like, we have something to look forward to a great Oh, yeah. Young if, if you're a Bengals fan, bro, keep your head up, I think. Yeah. Because he, he, he's a winner. You know what I mean? He has the, yeah. he's cocky. I mean, he has a good, he's, to me, he's good cocky. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? think so I think, think so, too. He's yeah, cocky. he's just really he's, confident in himself. He's not Baker cocky, where it's like hit and miss. You know what I mean? <laughs> Baker's cocky, and he fucking throws the ball like shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I just be real. I can't stand Baker Mayfield. Let's, <laughs> let's get that on the record. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, um, but it's true, though. I mean, yes. he, has, he does all. You seen those videos where Baker does his little dances? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, all right. If he was hella good, it wouldn't even matter. Yeah, if you know he wasn't I mean? doing all those progressive commercials, he would fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. throw the ball to somebody that's open. He can't. <laughs> I hate him. He has a good run game, though. Yeah. Nick Chubb and Cream Hunter are oh, dope as fuck. They, they are. Def they definitely are. They save his ass. Um, so Dolphins should should take that game. Yeah. Next game, you have Jaguars-Vikings. Um, no Minshew again, I think. I think they're going to have... Uh, that dude Ledden or... No, what's his name? Uh, the Nick. Oh, have... Glennon. Yeah, Glennon. Glennon was yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah he was that, playing the other day. Uh, that motherfucker's like 6'7", bro. Yes, it's fucking huge. Yes. Yeah. Um, so him and uh, the Vikings, I think, have a better squad overall, but they're also kind of one of the Jekyll Hyde teams, too. Yeah, and I, I think... think... <sighs> I don't know. What, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that game? I, I think um, I think Dalvin Cook got hurt. I think his ankle. So I don't know if he's gonna play. But with that said, it all it ends up coming down to Kirk Cousins. Yep. I, I, I mean, I think Dalvin Cook kind of takes a lot of pressure off him. But Kirk Cousins, that guy, where like some days he can go and throw four or five touchdowns, I know. and then the next day he's throwing balls. Oh my goodness, he's looking horrible. But they got a good, you know, good receiving core. I mean, Thielen's good. But I think he just got off COVID list. I heard he should be off it. Yeah. And then that youngster, Justin Jefferson, he's stud, bro. Oh, yeah. So I think that if they can play, Kirk Cousins can play decent. I I, I feel like they're going to win that game. I got the Vikings. I have Vikes, too, on this one. Yeah. Um, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in Glennon. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. He's one of those, just one of those guys that's, he, yeah, he'll start every so often. But I just have, I don't have a lot of confidence yeah. in that guy. I, I I take the Vikings, but like like you said, I mean they can play that those games where they just don't do anything. Exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, Vikes on that one. Next one you have Colts Texans. Texans to me one of the disappointing teams of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, I I just thought they were gonna, they were gonna kill it this year. I really yes, did. Yes. Um, Colts, bro. Uh, fuck, dude. I mean, Phil Rivers is old, and he uh, <laughs> and he he's playing good though, bro. Yeah, he's throwing he is. touchdowns. He's doing what he usually does. He throws picks and touchdowns. He yeah. needs to throw, like, two picks to get out of the way mm -hmm. and then throw, like, three touchdowns. I mean, their defense is – I think their defense is really good. They did get beat, banged up by big Derrick Henry, oh, but yeah. who doesn't, yeah, you know? Who doesn't, bro. And yeah. so I think I think they settle down this week. I think the, the Colts take care of the Texans. I love Deshaun Watson. I feel like, man, it's tough. He just – Will Fuller just got suspended, and that was his – one of his main go deep threats. I mean, Bill Bryan sold fucking – DeAndre Hopkins for pennies. That was fucking and and it's kind of you feel you feel for him. You feel like man, 
all his weapons are just getting taken away. And but on the contrary to that, you got to feel happy for fucking Kyler Murray, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he, he I, that's almost, I met my, when that trade went down, he was probably like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And Deshaun dude. Watson's probably like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? And But he, he still continues to win some games. Like, yeah. he, he's not, they're not like, like the Bengals where they have one win or, you know, the Jets where they're just completely <laughs> tanking. He continues to win games, and I feel like, man, if they can get him a receiver or he can get dealt to a team with weapons, Deshaun Watson, he's that dude, man. He is, he is, he is man. and um, I'll ta- I'd love him. I'd, 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 I'd take him, too. I'd, I'd love him I'd take him, too. Um, Nobody wants Goff's contract. <laughs> well, no one wants Carr's contract, either. <laughs> yeah. We're in a very similar boat, bro. Um, but <laughs> but uh, to that note, I have, I have Colts on that one, too. Mm-hmm. Um, we have... Raiders Jets on this next one. If that last game wasn't a trap game, which it was, mm-hmm. and then we definitely failed. Yes. This is as trap as a game as you as can get. As trap as it gets. As you can get, bro. I and think the Raiders get back on track, brother. I hope okay, okay. And I if I if I bet on this game and say, yeah, Raiders win by ten. Whatever. Because yeah. I don't the Jets, I don't think they want to win. No. I, th- I think they want Mr. Sunshine himself. Yes. I think they want uh, your your boy from Clemson. Trev, Trevi Trev. Yes. I think yes. they want him. I want him. <laughs> I want that fool, but it's not gonna happen. Yeah, um, we we already won too many games. As bad as that, so- as crazy as that sounds, you would need to win two games or less right now to be in the running for that game. Mm-hmm. The Jets have won nothing, um, so I think they want him. They want to solidify him. I think I think if they get a lead on us, they're gonna, I don't know, take people out, take, it, take just... people out, bro. Um, on honestly though, we should beat him. Raiders should beat him. We shouldn't be close. Is to it in honest. Vegas? Uh, not to New York. Just, I, just get out that game healthy. Yeah. That's yeah. the Niner fans. Just get out that game healthy because you don't want to go to his ankle, said he can play, but I'd rather not play him. Yes. Because we're still in the playoff race. Mm-hmm. You need Jacobs. Yeah. If, if you're the Raiders, you need Jacobs. And and so if he doesn't play, it'd be Devontae Booker? Yeah. Devontae Booker. And then have Jalen okay. Richard as a as the as the back. Yeah, and he's... Okay. Yeah, so again, even with that, you should beat the 0-11 Jets. You should, but it beat sets that. that fear in your heart. Like we cannot be the team. Oh, bro, I'm scared the... as fuck, yeah, exactly. bro. Because of last week. Yes, and and I think that you guys will bounce back. I think Carr gets it going again, and I I feel like the Jets are just you know they're they're bad, man. And and I feel like you said they're they're at a point where they're just gonna tank. Yeah. And and them beating the Raiders ain't gonna do nothing special for them. So I think Raiders come. I think the Raiders win by. I would say like seventeen. Okay, and and again, even then, it's like okay, it's what we're supposed to do. Yes. You know what I mean? We in the playoff race, we need to beat an zero and eleven team. Um, real quick, and we'll get to your team too about it. Um, fucking uh, as far as Derek Carr goes, do you think he he is a franchise quarterback? Because <sighs> I'm gonna give you a, a real a real quick take. He's in his seventh year, mm-hmm. and we still treat him like like he like he's like a young. Even a rookie quarterback, yes. because they, bro, Jacobs gets one of the most touches in, in the whole league, mm-hmm. the, and that's what you do for with a young quarterback. Yeah, heavily rely on the running back, mm-hmm. do little short one two yard passes, and action. Get, yeah, yes. yeah. So and, and so I think he is honestly in the same position as Ryan Tannehill. Okay, they they are the teams are built on running the ball so they can. I mean. The Rams, I would say, are, are similar to that because Goff is only good in play. He's better in play action. Yeah. Um, but um, franchise quarterback, I think it's maybe a little too late for him now to be considered a franchise quarterback. Yeah. Maybe um, you know, a a good starter. Um, you know, if somebody needs a, a spot starter or you know backup, but I I like him to start. That's why I can't say he's not a. It's a weird spot, right? Yes, he, he's not a. Like man, you're gonna put all your eggs in this fool's basket. Yeah. But maybe let him fight for a job. I don't know. <laughs> that's the thing too, and um, we haven't drafted a quarterback in a very long time. Yeah. And so they that fool hasn't had competition. Maybe put some fire under his ass. That's that's what I want, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what I. You see all these young kids killing it too. Yeah. Exactly. All the young kids come in and they kill it, and that's my thing. I'm not a Derek Carr hater, but I do see these young kids just come in, and they don't need seven years. They don't need five mm-hmm. years. They. They're doing it in one or two years. Yeah. And they're ready. They're relentless. They're fearless. Yes. They're very fearless. Yeah. So I still believe in him. To, I want him to do good because how good of a person he is. Yeah. I just, I wish there was a scenario where we can get Trevor Lawrence. I'm all in on that fool. <laughs> I, I really am. I'm all in on, on, on Trevor. Trevor Lawrence is, he's he's the man. Dude. Yeah, dude. I, but that's that's my shit on them. We should beat the Jets. Should be, should beat them. If we, okay, I'm telling you this right now. If we lose to the Jets, I'm not watching football the rest of the year. 
is that a, a is that a, a statement? You heard it first. You heard it. Is yeah. that is yep. that yep. set in stone? Yep. yep. Set in stone. Bro. And this is coming from a guy that I don't think he's missed a Raider game in I don't know how long. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's a bold statement. It's brother. a bold, but bro, but here's the thing: if we're in playoff contention, you lose. Losing to the Falcons, getting blown up the fuck out by the Falcons is one thing, That's right? That's kind of embarrassing. It's bad. It's yes. really bad. Yeah. But you lose to an own 11 Jets team. I mean, you what? can't go back to back shit games like yeah, that. Yeah. You cannot do that. I mean, that that's just embarrassing. Even if you even if you lose to them by one point, that's a wrap, bro. Yeah. Fire damn, everybody. That's... You start looking at Gruden all weird. Yeah, like, yeah. Because you, know I mean? you were looking at Gruden as like, man, he's 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 got this team rolling. Yeah. He got this team going, and then you kind of. So I, I give this kind of reprieve. With the one with the, the, the Falcons, we'll let this slide. I mean, I know you guys are Raider fan. You don't want to let that shit slide. That's embarrassing loss. Let the Falcons drop 40 on you, bro. But, bro, you got to let that slide. You got to... Okay, now throw if you lose to the Jets, away, you got to just... Throw that film away. Just, shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> shit happens, all right? Yeah. Slip up. I mean, yeah, it's a bad loss, but you got to let that one go. Now, if you go out there and lose to the Jets, yeah. now you're really looking like, okay, what the fuck's wrong now? Yeah. Let that one go. Okay. Let's, let's okay. move forward. Let's okay. move forward, okay. okay? I'm glad we had this counseling <laughs> session. Bro. I think I needed that, bro. I think I fucking needed that shit. Let's move forward, yeah, man. Let's, let's move on. Let's throw that shit away. I'm, I'm ready now. Um, so, yeah, good shit. Next one is Jet Seahawks. I mean, Jet Seahawks. Giant Seahawks. Um, honestly, bro, Seahawks should handle business. I know you don't want to hear this, but Seahawks should handle business, I think. I, dude, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little in on the Giants. Okay. Bro, okay. I'm telling you. The East is shit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the Giants have started playing better, and the Washington Redskins have started playing better. They have. They oh, both wait, wait. have. I'm, I'm sorry, the Washington football oh, team. Oh, football team. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, uh, hey, <laughs> for, for my racial slur. <laughs> I am. I apologize. You know us just laughing about that. We're canceled. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I deeply yeah. apologize from the bottom of my heart. The Washington football team and the Giants have gotten better. I said Redskins. <laughs> they that's what they that's been my whole life what yeah, do you, what, what do you I expect know, I know, you know? I know and i don't even think they take it as a slur bro it's bro it sl- i don't think of them as a slur we're, we're i have to cut this out but go ahead i don't think gonna... <laughs> <laughs> i feel like it's not a slur but yeah. with that said washington and the giants have gotten better do washington's front front four bro they got some big dogs chase young and montre sweat i both easy like six six just monsters and then the so Giants, he's, athletic, he's, he's, bro. he's so, so athletic. athletic bro. When he was playing the Rams, I was like, gosh, damn, this mother. <laughs> I said, I thought we had to worry about Chase Young. We got this yeah, big ass yeah, motherfucker on the yeah. side. The Giants, they're starting to run the ball. I'm telling you, Wayne Gallman from Clemson, he's starting to run the rock. Daniel Jones, but Daniel Jones is hurt. I know. Daniel Jones is hurt. And he, he was, he's probably the best quarterback in the conference. Because you look at the crest of the conference. Yeah, yeah. He's the best quarterback in the conference right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not saying with with Dak Hurt, he's the yeah. best quarterback in the conference. Okay, let, real side question: How many wins does it take to win the East this year? The NFC, the NFC East. The, I'm being honest. About Seven. It. Okay, I'm. I honestly, I honestly think six. I bro. pray. I'm, I pray that it's six. <laughs> I pray it's six. I like. I'm hoping it's six, so I can be like Cowboys fans. Look at your division. You got yeah. one with six wins, but it's gonna be seven. Okay. It's okay. gonna be seven. seven wins. Eagles are terrible. Carson Wentz. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was a good one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I I have Seahawks on that. We went a little bit off on that, but I have Seahawks winning. That I, game. I got the Seahawks winning probably by like a touchdown. Okay, it's okay. So yeah. we're both on Seahawks. Yeah. Next one, next one, the next one is Rams Cardinals. <laughs> so this is a, this is you right here. This is so me. we don't have to dive deep into the to the Niners shit. The Niners shit, honestly, bro. You can, you can you can look at it one of two ways. Just like you were counseling me, I was counseling you about it. The Niners, for whatever reason, they own the Rams. They they, they want to play their fucking hardest against you guys. Yes. I don't know if they have side bets. I don't know. If, I, I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. They play like shit against the Eagles. They play like shit against a lot of other shitty teams. When the Rams are in town, they're like, oh, let's fucking practice, I, bro. I am telling you, <laughs> Debo Samuel will not fucking play a game until he plays the Rams. Two times he's came back against the Rams like, I'm healthy. Yeah. Oh, I, I've been hurt all year? Nah. Rams, <laughs> Moster. Oh, Rams? Let's go. Like yeah. this but with that said, I just feel like Salah, their defensive coordinator, has like a mental edge over Jared Goff and Sean McVay. Okay. He has like bro, I just have it in my head like they own us. For now, at for at this moment, they own us. Yeah. We can we can't beat them. And and we bro, we, we just the, beat the we just beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A Monday night. Potential Super Bowl contender. Right? With our, and with our defense just being stout, yeah. Goff making throws against a great front seven, 
and then he goes against the Niners and he can't throw the ball. Richard Sherman comes back all of a sudden and he just gets an easy pick. Like, hey, here, Richard, you're back. Thanks. Yeah, come back. And you know, the Niners are very depleted too. I, yes. you, know, you know, again, we went against the depleted Falcons team too, but the, the fucking, uh, the, the Niners are pretty depleted too. They are. And, and they just got to. You guys didn't get blown out though, bro. That's the thing. It was a close bro, game. It was a close game. You know why we, we had a chance? Because Aaron Donald took over the game in the yeah, third quarter. He bro, did. he just fucking force fumbled. The next one sack. Boom. We get the ball back. We score. Darren Donald, like, as a defensive tackle, you don't do that. Who does that? Like, takes over a game like that. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. No, he. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, he's by far. By far the best defensive player in in, in the game. Yeah. You can argue he's the best player in yes. the game. You can argue that's a legit argument. Exactly. We're in an offensive league. Let's not lie about that. Mm. We're in a very offensive offensively driven yes. league. But defense, there is no doubt. He's by far the yes. best heads and shoulders he's best defensive player in the league. Easy. I can humbly say that, bro. It's yeah, the truth. yeah. It's the he, truth. He's hands down that dude. But like I said, man, we got a Cardinals team coming. Close your eyes again. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Cardinals team, but this is the thing: when we play the Cardinals, we play them well. I know we we the, play them well, and they're a great team. We play them well. To me, they're way better than the Niners. Bro. Exactly, it's weird. We yeah. play them well. Yeah. We play the Seahawks well, but when it comes to the Niners, we don't. So I feel <laughs> like Golf has to get his shit together. Okay, you we're you we're talking about we're talking about Derek Carr, right? <laughs> yeah. it's pretty, and, yeah. and and and. We haven't had a Graham Ties podcast, but me and my brothers, we text all the time. And, and my brother, Stefan, said this the other day. He said, I'm looking at our games, and Jerry Goff turns the ball at least twice a game. He is <laughs> yeah. starting, it's, it's starting to get to a point where he's just costing us games. Okay. And so I love Jerry Goff. He's, you know, let us do a Super Bowl. But get we're, the mic a little closer to you right here. We're, we're, make, we're, sure you make sure we get this. We're getting to the point where <laughs> I am going to say this. Jared Goff is not a franchise quarterback. Oh my God! Where's Stephen A. Bro, I want I want Jared know. Goff is not a franchise quarterback. <laughs> oh my God! You're and, your first right here on the Herd the Beard podcast. And I would I would trade oh, to get wait. Justin Fields. Oh not even my not even God, Trevor Lawrence. Bro. Justin Fields. <laughs> Oh my God! Dude. But if we want to get Deshaun Watson, I'll try to get him. Yeah. Okay, okay. What what would you give up? Would, would you give up Goff and and? I'll and... give Goff in the next year's first because we fucking trade all our first rounds. Yeah. The next first round we got, and the next one after that, for a chance at Justin Fields or Deshaun Watson. Oh my God! What a statement! What a statement! Um, okay, Bro, he's so his games. <laughs> okay, so Goff, I don't hate Goff. I actually, I don't hate him. I, I hold him a little bit above Carr. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I feel like they're in the same realm, though. They're in the same realm, bro. I think they're in the same realm. Goff, I think he could possibly lead us to where we need to be. Okay, but if he does not take care of the ball the way he is, I, we the way he's been playing, bro. The the top um, quarterback with the most turnovers is Carson Wentz, second Jared Goff. Both same same class. Some stats, bro. Let me give you a scenario real quick. Let me give you a scenario real quick. You don't you don't have to say you can say yes or no, whatever you want to do. You're not the actual GM, but I'm gonna give you okay. a, a scenario. Mm-hmm. Let's say the Jets are up. They're, they're because they might go 0-16. Yes. Let's say they're up. Let's say they're feeling frisky, bro. Let's say they're out there. They're like, hey, you know what? Maybe yeah, Trevor's gonna be good, but we want to stockpile on some picks because our whole team is trash. I guess. Let's say, but you know what? Hey. That quarterback in in, in in LA is not bad. He's young too. We we kind of like golf, golf. Mm-hmm. But obviously, Trevor is the prize right now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let's let's think about this. Let's. What if they say, "Hey, LA, give us golf and four first round picks, and we'll let you get that pick to draft Trevor." And we get Trevor Lawrence. Yep. Four. Four first round picks. You have to give us golf because we need a quarterback, right? We still okay. need a quarterback. We're giving away golf and and four first rounders. Yes, and you we give you the pick so you can possibly pick Trevor Lawrence. Okay. I, I don't have that much time. You deal. Oh my god. Making the fucking deal. <laughs> oh my. Making goodness. the deal. I think I would do it too. Bro. I'm making the fucking deal. <laughs> Ink me in. We'll yeah. fucking stock up on second rounders. That's been our best picks the last fucking four years anyway. Yeah. We'll fucking stop up, stock up on second rounders. We're taking oh, Trevor Lawrence. Shit, dude, Trevor was... fucking Lawrence. Yeah, fuck it. We haven't had a fucking first round pick in like four years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to make the difference? What the fuck's going to gonna make a difference? All our team is second rounders. Doesn't like, fucking matter. I like how you sold it. Like, you know what? We're good on second round picks anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I, I'm making the deal. Yes. I, I'd make that deal too uh, for my team. 
they wanted Carr and four. I might give up three for fucking Justin Fields. <laughs> 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 I like it. Uh, you've been very honest, and I like it. But um, I think I got the rounds by fucking. I got 10 rounds. Too. We went way off track. Yes. But I, I got the rounds. I got. By ra- I got rounds by ten. Yeah, and I think I think rounds by by seven to thirteen. Yeah. So it's somewhere. I, I like Jalen Ramsey versus DeAndre Hopkins. That'd be a nice one. So nice love matchup. One, but like you said, for some reason they play good against the cards. And and I fucking love Aaron Donald against fucking Kyler Murray, dude. Yeah. He fucking He's, digs in that little motherfucker. He, he makes because we all know. Let's just address it. Kyler Murray's small. Yes. Small. <laughs> yes. Let's, let's yes. Like, yes, yes. We're small too. We right? are, yes. We're, we're small too. Yeah. Fuck, he just has fucking. <laughs> I don't know, fucking. He's all fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Aaron Donald dwarfs that guy, dude. Huh? He, he dwarfs him. Yes. He makes him like legit. Because a lot of times when, when when Kyler plays, you're like, man, that guy's so good. He's... You don't think about how small he is sometimes. Yes. When Donald plays him, bro, you fucking feel. I feel bad for him. I bro. feel bad, and and he just grabs the yeah, last. He like I seen him last year grab by like 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 a little piece of his jersey and just like, <laughs> it's like a little fucking rag dog yeah i know something crazy real quick yeah. i seen the other day was kyler murray was standing next to kenyon drake in the gun kenyon drake at probably maybe like six foot maybe yeah. max yeah fucking towering over him in the fucking gun <laughs> yeah. and i was like imagine if derrick henry was standing next to him. Oh, <laughs> oh my. my imagine if kyler murray's right here and derrick henry's right next yeah. to him <laughs> That's actually what, how would that like fucking that like? and son right there bro <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give, give it to me son <laughs> 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 but we got we got Rams on that one. Um, next one we have uh, Patriots Chargers. Cam and the Patriots been playing a little better lately. Yeah, they have. Yes, they have. yes. Um, obviously, they want the Chargers to lose. Now they have. I don't think they're a big. They're a big threat as far mm. as playoffs go right now. Yeah. Anyways. But I like their quarterback. Though, Herbert bro. is the oh, man. Herb, oh, Herb. I'll my. fucking trade for that motherfucker, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about four first round. No, I, not four first round. I think I'd give two. He's, he's I think I'd give two, good, bro. bro. I think that motherfucker's give two. good. Yeah, I'd give two for him. Um, I'm, I think he's going to be, and dude, they've lost so many little close games, mm. too. They're going to correct that next year, bro. Yeah, And yeah. I think they're going to. I think they're gonna be real good. Next they're gonna year, be dude. tough. They're, they're gonna, gonna be tough. tough. I, yeah. I, I like, I like Joey Bosa's back. I love Joey Bosa. He motherfuckers. Him and Nick Bosa, probably two of the best pass rushers in the league. Ridiculous. But Bosa, yeah, Nick is hurt. But they, they got such great balance. I was watching Nick Bo- Joey Bosa the other day, and I was like, "Fuck, if they had him all year, bro, they're fucking dangerous, it's a bro." Team. It's Hell a yeah, team. their and, defense is hella and different. And the thing is, bro, at the end of the day, if you're the target, if I'm a Charger fan, I'm thinking like, we have our guy, our franchise already. Yes. I don't think there's any doubt about it. He's your franchise. Yes. He's yes. good. Um, to that note, though, I, I think the Patriots are gonna squeeze it out. I think, I think. You think Belichick's gonna fucking work his way into the so. playoffs? I think huh? so, bro. Fuck yeah, he's you're just right. He's that good. I think Cam's playing a little more confident too. Mm. I don't think you need the old Cam to to in that system. Yeah, I think Belichick just schemes up a good defense. That motherfucker throws like ten times. Huh? Yeah, I think I I. I got the Patriots on a field goal late. Uh, it'll be close. It'll be no a matter field goal what, late. It'll be close. Herbert's yeah. gonna keep minute. Herbert's. I'm a, he's. Good. I like him he's too, good. bro. Keenan Allen's hell of good. Oh, man. oh yeah. I, when they were playing the Raiders and those, they were at the goal line and they didn't throw it to him one time. I was kind of like, I was thinking that. Like, I was, hey, I was okay, like, you know just what? give him a chance. I was thinking like, oh, this one's going to. This <laughs> yeah, one's yeah. Going to and then like, and then oh, this one's definitely. Going yeah, to and then they throw it to that fucking dude in the yeah. corner. I was like, <laughs> that you caught yourself. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Um, next one we have uh, Eagles, uh, Packers. Packers blowout. I think so too. It's not gonna be close. We talked shit about Wentz already. The I, NFC least. I don't want to talk yeah. about Carson Wentz yeah. no more, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I bash him every day, dude. Yeah, every fucking day. Yeah. I just don't have a lot of confidence in that, in that Eagles team. I think Aaron Rodgers is is playing cocky he's again. Playing cocky and. Their receivers, they can't stop them. Devontae Adams is unstoppable. Again, another Fresno State pride. Another bro. Fresno State pride. I mean, they're, the, they're representing. Yeah. Yeah, Devontae Adams is unstoppable, dude. He's a monster, He's bro. unstoppable, yeah. dude. And Him and DK are just killing Unstoppable. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we I, I say that's the easy one. Next one, the Broncos Chiefs. That's going to be another brutal, yeah. brutalizing, bro. I mean, what, you can't say enough about uh, Patrick Mahomes. That yeah, dude's a killer. He's um, the Broncos, best quarterback in the league. Yeah. Broncos aren't trying to really do a whole lot this year mm-hmm. i think they have a lot of injuries too um it, it, sh- it should be a blowout yes easily tw- 10 20 what i love about this is the thing patrick mahomes is i wouldn't say he's the equivalent to aaron donald on defense but he is a quarterback at a level that no one is on his level like i don't think so i think i mean but but this is the thing you can always argue oh there's aaron Rodgers and there's there's this guy but you can't argue that but with aaron donald but i think patrick mahomes is at the level where he's the best player in the league like it's 
he, no question. So me. to me, Patrick Mahomes brings a whole different level to to that to to the NFL. Yes. Unlike the Brady's, the Rogers, the Breeze, mm-hmm. you know those type of guys. Even you want to throw in Lamar and all them. Lamar's a great, great. He's no he's Patrick great Mahomes. Yeah, Mahomes, dude. He reminds me like of a basketball player playing football. Dude. Yeah, dude. He does a no look shit. He did, he's like he's swaggy, bro. And he's out there just having fun. Just like I know I'm gonna make this pass. Yeah. And yeah. then he got Tyree Kill that just that that's another story, bro. He's. <sighs> I, like besides this little two hundred yard game, like I say, little two hundred yeah, yard game that yeah. he had, he's just like, how do you stop him? You're you're not you. It's hard to stop him. I think the Raiders. I think the Raiders did decent. For some reason, we play those fools good. Yeah, I don't know why we play those fools good all the time. Yeah, which I I don't even want to get into that shit. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you got Kelsey, you have fucking Sammy Watkins too. Bro. Yeah, bro. And oh my. Miko Hardman is probably just as fast as Tyreek. Maybe a little slower, but. They're burners. They got just like dudes. Yeah. And then you got Alaire. And then you got Le'Veon Bell now. And then yeah. you just they're good. They're <laughs> fucking good. E- e- easily have the, but, the, the the Chiefs. But one of their losses was to the fucking Raiders. Yeah. The yeah. Raiders. I don't want to want to hear that from that performance <laughs> last week. But yes. Like I guess we played them good for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. I have no idea why. Uh, next one, the Washington football team Redskins. Against the fucking <laughs> Uh, the undefeated Steelers. Steel- so it'll be played on a Tuesday, I think. Yes. Because they keep moving the games. Keep fucking moving Steelers um, games back. Steelers are gonna fuck them up, I think, bro. I really do. I, I get it. They have a good front, you know, the 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 Redskins, the Washington team. Um, but I think Steelers, Steelers got weapons, bro. Yeah, they, Steelers they're, got they're, weapons. They're gonna fuck them up, I think. I, I think I think they win by, let's say seventeen. So yeah. 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 yeah I, yeah. I like that too. Yeah. Next one, um, Niners and the Bills. Honestly, I think the Niners come back down on this one. I think the Bills, the Bills have been up and down this mm-hmm. year too. Where you think, oh, then they're gonna be a threat to the Chiefs. Are like, oh no, these fools. Yeah, they were pretenders. I think they're gonna come back and they're gonna beat the Niners pretty good. Yeah, I still think the Bills are pretenders, but I think they beat the Niners for sure. <laughs> I, I just, the Niners, they're gonna go back to somewhere where, oh man, Debo Samuel, he's hurt, or someone else is hurt, or they're they're not going to play the same that they do against the Rams. They yeah. just have like a little, you know, it's just like when we play the Seahawks. They they have like a little thing against them and so yeah. I think the Bills beat them. I yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Next one, my mom's favorite team, Dallas Cowboys. And boys. <laughs> yeah. Those against, boys. Against the Ravens and, and Lamar You talk be about back. fucking embarrassing when they yeah. lost the Redskins on <laughs> oh, Thanksgiving. <my>. That <laughs> Bro, oh, my mom didn't want to cook anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanksgiving almost got canceled yeah. in the fucking Garcia household <laughs> because fucking the Cowboys. <laughs> they laid an egg, bro. I mean, and, th- and that's when you're thinking, like, oh, the Cowboys could take control of the division. <laughs> Four wins. Every week, then oh. they try to. <laughs> oh, they have a chance, yeah, and then yeah, fucking and shit the bed, dude. Yeah, that was. Uh, and they're going against the, the Ravens. Lamar Jackson will be back. That's going to be ugly, bro. Yeah, that's going to be ugly. I Honestly, bro, I, I feel like Mike McCarthy is, like, not. He was good with the Packers, but for some reason he seems like he's like going through the motions with yeah, those. Yeah, I, I, he's going through something because I feel like he's lost nobody, team too. nobody wants to play for him. Nope, they, he lost I, the team. That's I think, I mean. yeah, yeah, I think this might be the like one, one of those done. one and dones. <laughs> one I, and done. I wouldn't put it past Jerry yeah. Jones and say, yeah. "Get the fuck out of here." Dude. Jerry Jones has so much money; he don't give a fuck. Nah, about dude, bro. he does not. Or even if they get when they got McCarthy, they should have got rid of the rest of the staff. They kept yeah. all those other dudes and those dudes. Fuck, but fuck but this you guy. know why they do that? Because Jones, he's just like our old owner Al Davis. He likes to be the puppet master. Oh, he likes to control. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. He wants people that he can say, "Hey, do this." Okay, sir. Yeah, That's yeah. What he likes. Yeah. We probably be like that too if we were in his position. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So can't even talk shit, but that's what goes down. I think Ravens destroy him. I th- I think the Ravens. I think the Ravens beat him by like fifteen. Yeah. I, I can't say they destroy them because sometimes the Cowboys pull some shit out of their ass and they fucking play decent, but yeah. the Cowboys embarrass themselves on Thanksgiving. For dude. my mom's sake, I hope they can pull it out, but I just do not see it against the Ravens, bro. I really nah. don't. Now with, one, now with Lamar, Lamar back. Lamar being out a week and a half, no, nah, bro. He's going to be hungry. He's just going to fucking try to run wild. Yeah. He might run for fucking 200. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's our takes for that week. We fucking went longer than I thought we would, but we you know we haven't done this. Yeah, before. we haven't done in a while, exciting. you know. So, um. Yes, watch that shit. Watch us get our picks correct. Watch us get watch us get it wrong. Talk shit on us. We love the comments. Watch, awesome. watch the fucking cowboys pull some out of yeah. their ass and we look like <laughs> yeah. dumbasses. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> but hey, great having you on for this shit. We will do it again, definitely, hundred percent. You already know, bro. So fucking uh, D prime time from Graham titles. There, you already know. Right here, out. I'm with the hair and the beard.